Hey guys, Rayman here back with another figure review and this time it is on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Odin, the Allfather slash King Thor, Build a Figure Wave, Maidens of Might, Scarlet Witch figure. Um it's got this one on eBay too. Um pretty good figure from the outside, uh from looking at the package here. Pretty cool figure. I decided to have her I needed another you know, figure female figure in my set and my display. But um let's get through this quickly. You've seen this bo these boxes before, you know, Marble logo there, age, age limit, uh, build a figure, old father, wave, see nice spray package of Scarlet Witch there, Marvel Legends, Infinite Series, Means of Might, Hasbro logo, inside here, nice black and white artwork of either Captain Marvel, which is the Warney change, or Scarlet Witch right there inside, uh, back to same Marvel Legends and figure, pictures of both figures, and it says Means of Might. Whether commanding cosmic energy or hex magic, these heroes wield massive power. We've got a picture of both of them right there. Build a figure, and there's a picture of uh, Odin the Allfather right there, or King Thor, and all the other figures in the wave. And the other one I got was a Thor that I already reviewed. Check out that video now if you haven't seen it yet. Probably say that again anyway. Um, stuff, you know, same old stuff on the bottom there. Um, but anyway, let's take a quick break here, get her out of the package, see everything she comes with, and detail and configuration of the figure. So here's Scarlet Witch out of the package. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous figure. Um, enjoying it so far. I mean, if you can tell, she's kind of leaning on her cape. She, because of the heels that she they gave her, um, it's gonna be hard for her to stand on her own. But other than that, I think it's a really great looking figure. So let's get into the actual accessories she comes with here. So you can see here. I put these on her already, but she comes with a little hex charms power effects. Pretty neat looking. Let's see that there. Nice translucent pinkish color and just three different loops there you can put them on. I just kind of had them dangling from her hand, but I think you can put these on her, her wrists if you want to. Pretty nice. And she also comes with. The builder figure Odin pieces. You can see here. Comes with the uh, head of Odin right there. Looks pretty nice. Um, blue cape and his scepter trident. So gold. Just a gold trident. Not really trident. Just a gold dog. Uh, gold type bronze color. And it looks nice. Yeah, pretty good accessories. So now let's get into the detail of the figure. I love this head sculpt. Just gorgeous. Nice blue eyes. Nice looking. Trying they didn't slop on mine at least. So that's good looking there. Nice shiny red for her um, outfit here. It's more glossy right here up by the breasts. Down here it's a little bit more of a matted red finish but it still looks nice. Nice Ab definition there. The uh, pink is painted on there, but it still looks good, I think. Pretty good job. Beautiful sculpt. Let's see there. And yes, they gave her big round booty, which is fine. I think most guys will not complain about it. <laughs> but a uh, nice cape here. I wish it was a little bit more pliable, but it's not. I'm sure you could, I think you can take this off if you want to pop off the head. I'm not going to do it, but you could. Yeah. But I think then she would just, just give her the bunny ears and she'd look like Playboy Bunny. Which, again, I don't think people, a lot of guys would complain about. <laughs> but, yeah, overall, nice. It's nice figure. Um, nice black wash in the hair. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Can't say that enough. Just gorgeous looking. But uh, let's get into the uh, actual articulation of the figure. All right, so for articulation, head doesn't go up that much. Nope, does not go up that much. Goes doesn't really go down. A little bit side to side motion. A little bit of a pivot. Um, arms go all the way out, about that far. It's level three sixty. Um, jointed elbow. 
and wrists go up and down and swivel side to side 360. Um, she's got the abdomen rocker that most of these female figures get. It goes forward that, goes back that far, goes forward about that far, and it's wheel side to side. Um, no waist, but that's okay. It's up to, it's right here on the boobies. <laughs> and she's got a uh, side swivels, upper side swivel on both sides. Um, double joint knees, and ankles don't go down that much. Go up, and there is a nice ankle pivot, and she, luckily, she does have peg holes in the bottom of the feet. So pretty good articulation. For the standard uh, Marvel Legends. Six inch scale. She stands about at about six and a half, maybe. Yeah, about six and a half. I'm gonna say about six and a half. Just tall, but let's get some size comparisons. What another gorgeous Marvel Legends figure and a fellow Avenger. Here she is next to my uh, Marvel Legends Captain America Winter Soldier. Uh, we have um, Andrew Hansen Black Widow. Um, as you can see. They're probably about the same height. Maybe Scar, which is a little bit taller. Wish she was wearing this outfit in the movie, but what can you do? Still pretty good figures. So for another figure in the uh, same way, here she is next to my Marvel now. Um, Thor, as you can see, Thor is taller and much bigger. Um, if you haven't seen my video on this guy yet, please check that out. And for another uh, female figure, here she is next to my uh, Soda Street Fighter 2 Chun Li. As you can see, uh, Scar, which I think is actually taller, the heels. And here she is next to my movie master, Dark Knight Rises uh, Batman. As you can see, uh, she is taller. And here she is next to my um, Star Wars Episode 1. Uh, Phantom Menace, Padme, I have a dollar. As you can see, Scar Witch is taller. And finally, for another uh, standard Marvel Legends comparison, here she is next to my um, Marvel Legends Rocket Raccoon Beauty Figure Wave uh, Scar Spider. As you can see, she is uh, again taller because of the heels. So, overall, uh, very great looking figure. Gorgeous sculpts. Pretty good articulation. Another good uh, female figure representation of a much needed character. Uh, that we needed in the Marvel Legends, the last one. I guess it's good for the time, but horrible in comparison. This is definitely the, the much better figure, and I definitely man, uh, recommend you picking her up if you can find her. If you need uh, for your Marvel Legends display, or just you're built uh, trying to collect the uh, Odin All Father or King Thor, build a figure. You definitely need her piece because she's got the most pieces in the wave, as far as I can tell. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend it. Great figure. Um, I hope you can find her. She is going to be the harder one to find in the way, but definitely worth it. Um, so anyway, this was my quick review on the Marvel Legends event series. Own the All-Father Build-A-Figure Wave, or uh, King Thor Build-A-Figure Wave, Minions of Might, uh, Scarlet Witch. I hope you liked it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button. Subscribe, share, leave a comment. Definitely appreciate it. Follow me on Twitter, or underscore Maiden. As always, my Facebook profile is going to be in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Scarlet Witch, would you please take us away? But don't waste your time on her, she only likes robots. She knows what you know. I'm gonna talk to her anyway. Hey baby. Wanna wait? What are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? No! What you said do to Misa? Change your Misa back! Change me so back. Hey, very funny. You know what? This could be a good look for me.